Actually, last time I did a mistake. I, I, I said that we will read about um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when he's jumping in the ocean, but I was over jumping one line. We have still a little bit more, and next time this will be the topic. So today, okay. today we will read from text number 267 in chapter 8. 200 Madhya Lila chapter 8 267 267 <laughs> You know, to, today, today I talked with Gurudev 45 minutes. Uh huh. And then and Guru, Gurudev 45 said, 45 minutes? Hama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because, you know, because you got a pretty send a message. Why Jainanda, you know, called me? No. Did not, did not call me. And then, <laughs> then immediately I called, but my phone does not work. And, and then I, I I called the you got ability. Sorry, you know, can I help me? And, and then you got ability give his her phone to Guru Dev. Then we talk, we are talking, talking, and then and you know, 45 minutes we are talking. And then Guru Dev said he's like listening our class and he's crying. So please, please continue this class. And uh, He, he, he told me, I, you know, I don't, now I don't want to share. I want to hear and want to cry. <laughs> he said, no, good day. We want to hear from you, you know. And then he said, no, I, I'm, I'm, after going back to, you know, this Munger Raj Mandir, I will stay in 108. I do bhajan, you know, he, he said something like this. So anyway, so in this sharing is is saving people. Guru Dev said, you know, if if we sharing this mood is you know kind of this this mood kind of spread and influence other people. So Guru Dev want us to continue and uh, more go deep. That is kind of a good David's uh, suggestion. <laughs> And uh, yeah. So good David now, his face is very bright. And uh, but his body say, I never accept this kind of weakness. This, this, it seems weak, but getting better, but uh, not so like before, I may say. And uh, so he make, I don't know, he make back, come back soon. I hope 26, but uh, so after checking the doctor, then let's see. But it seems uh, quite weak. And, uh, you know, and then we talked, you know, many things. And uh, so anyway... I also, I share, Guru Dev, I want to share one thing. And last time, Roshan class, maybe you may not hear, Suniti not, maybe he, you may not there. And no, Gorab I was not there, unfortunately, but I heard it was beautiful. Beautiful, you know, the Modern Pabu, uh, you know, I completely mad after, you know, hearing his class, honestly. And I share Guru Dev, and Guru Dev was so happy. Maybe I want to share a little bit before, sorry, before, you know, all the money. Yes, yes, please. We have time. You know, we can read this next time. No problem. It's always <laughs> no, good. no, no, no. I want to no, share. No, 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 no. Really, it's, it's always good to share what, what has to like, be shared you know, now. Otherwise, it no, will be forgotten. Everybody knows, you know, Radharani in the morning, Radharani uh, wear uh, Mohan's, Mohan's, Uh, yellow pitambara's shawl and uh, Mohan wear Radharani's shawl. You know, everybody, everybody knows this story. 
and the Mukara came, and Mukara was thinking, oh, what are you doing? You are wearing Krishna's clothes, you know? And then Manjari is, is very, or Manjari Saki, very expert. No, 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 no. Ma, grandmother, the sunshine, you you are big, become getting older, you can misunderstand. So like, the, you know, this leader, everybody knows. So then, Damodara Prabhu said, why? Why Radha and Mohan exchange this cross? And he said, oh, I go to mercy of Gurudev. I, want, I don't know if this is good, to, good, good to or not, but I want to share, share with you. You know, like this. <clears throat> so he's saying, if, if I may, made a mistake, please rather Trump, I'm correct. So in, in Nikunja, Lada and Mohan, they are doing, you know, Amara's pastime. And this time, Radha, Radha Rani and Mohan were so excited, excited. They feel, they, they feel oneness. And also, they, they thinking, okay, I want to change role. Just automatically happens. Radha think, oh, I'm Krishna. Radha thinking, oh, no, no. Radha thinks I'm Krishna. Krishna thinks I'm Radha. So he changed clothes. Radha Rani took brows. You know, Mohan like, uh, you know, took Radha Rani clothes. And this kind of pastime was going on. Completely mad. Because of Suneha. Because of Mahababa. You know, then, 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 then morning time, like say, uh, Nishantarira, or maybe before Nishantarira, you know, they, yeah, they, they come, they woke up, but still they are completely mad, you know. They don't realize it. And Manjari, you know, and also Manjari also, they, they are seeing this scene. Manjari also become little, you know, mad. And then Man Manjari try to, you know, try to, you know, paint, try to dress up, but uh, some or other, you know, Manjari also a little crazy. Radio can also could not realize it. So, <laughs> you know, rather than you wear, you know, Pitan Barkura, you know, cross, and uh, rather than you forgot to wear, you know, like a blouse. It's completely amazing, you know. And then Swami said, oh, and one says, you know, realize, oh, please bring my, my blouse. So that leader is coming. And then morning time, rather than you, could, you know, rather than you, forgot to wear own clothes. And then, oh my God, this we are just, we are reading in Gorabaniji. So we are just reading like a Prema Virasa Bibarka. Completely like an exchange role, completely mad. Oh my God, this pastime is, is that reader. I was completely, you know, oh my God, Damodara Prabhu, you know, oh, he, he has good meditation, good realization. Then, you know, we become literally like mad. This kind of story I told Gurudev, and Gurudev is so happy. If you could add, please add. <clears throat> Night time, Shirada and Krishna embracing each other tightly. And then time woke up coming by uh, because um, Brinda is sending send uh, to uh, Shuka and Sari. And they sit speaking about their pastimes and special verses. And this way they sweetly uh, evoke both. And then they evoke during nighttime pastimes, they completely immerse in each other and they change a role. Now Radha is thinking, I am Mohan. Mohan is thinking, I am Radha. And what they are doing? Radha taking Pitambara of Krishna and putting here. And blues is on the uh, bed. 
En Krishna, er is een onbelusari. Er is een like this. En Manjari looking is the amazed. It's not correct. Not proper. En zijn we trying to change this. Return in proper way. But she materialica, no, 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 she's not allowing to do this. She not understand what they are doing. Because she's thinking, I'm Krishna. I'm not Radha. Why are you t- t- trying to take out my Pitambara? <laughs> and also on the Radhika's body, so many signs of love, love battle. And what they did, they put Vermilion, women's red color. color. It's like not just to hide. No, it's to underline. This, this underline. <laughs> <laughs> and then return Shimati Radhika in this way without blows and this Pitambara returning to Yavat and going to sleep and Mukhara grandmother of Shimati Radhika knocked Radhe and she is coming and Shimati Radhika due to this voice of her grandmother her consciousness returned she understood I am Radha and in this way, Grandmother Mukhara coming and looking on Radha. Why is Pitambara on your granddaughter? And she is asking, Ovi Shakri, what is it? Yesterday I saw this cloth on the Krishna. How possible now it's on my granddaughter? In, in this moment, uh, Manjari telling, Oh Mukhara, look on the, on the sun. And she is changing attention in this moment as as the manjari changing the clothes and now on Srimati Radhika Nilambara not Pitambara (laughs) and Avishaka is telling oh you old and blind lady like this and he's uh, told until the moment then Mukra's voice came she's still thinking I am Radha or I am Krishna and Manjari could not change anything. Or why is it not possible? She coming to Yahweh and, and she is this, this people, Pitambara. And then they both, um, morning time, woke up, both Krishna and Radha. They take each other okay, hand to hand and both completely thinking everything is good. All bodies have signs, they change. Uh, Krishna is uh, uh, blue sari, Shimati Radhika is Pitambara, without blues, and they're thinking everything is okay. This, this picture was drawn in our mind by the mother from Radhe. This is wonderful. This is Damoda. Hmm? <laughs> Now it's his time, Damoda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for sharing this, this nectar. Because we were on a market with Suniti and could not be there because we had to do. So, but it was also very nice, actually. It was also very ecstatic. So many people came searching for Radharani's love and we were really busy from morning till in the evening to just tell the people about Radharani's mercy. It was so ecstatic, really. Wow. And nearby we were selling some little things for Brain Prashad. So very ecstatic. Suniti and Gora did the arrangements and we thank you very much, you both, really. It took some time and some endeavor, of course. We have to do it again and again, I think. Wow. Yes, Gauravani, with your mercy, we will do it. Better we do it with the mercy of Gurudev and Radharani. That's much, much better. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, with yours, all you Vaishnavas here. Hey, Uda, Rade, Rade. Rade, Rade. Sorry to be late. <laughs> no problem. We were all late today, actually. Today, all late. Today. But in this way, actually, we got some very um, special mercy today, some sharing from Jayananda and uh, Radha Charan. 
they were like like the shukas and uh, huh? like right they came and bring this uh, this nectar from gurudev and from damoda <laughs> Yeah, so. Oh, no, 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 I was in the temple and I told you that the temple was coming to our market. No? Yeah, he told yesterday, Gauravani, no? that the temple was coming. It, he he feel that was Radharani is yeah. putting us together. And today I was in temple and uh, then this small group, they had uh, distributed some small uh, Mahaprasadam on, uh, on our place. And... Uh, they have uh, a very smooth, they came late, I, I think at one o'clock or like this. No? And so they um, got some donations uh, from uh, people who took the Mahaprasad. No? And today they gave this uh, donations uh, for Radha Mohan, sent to Vrindavan. It was so, so nice. I was so happy that they so close to us. Huh? They laugh very much. So this was uh, touching my heart <clears throat> because they came with six, uh, seven devotees and have not so much, uh, um, what to say, umsatz. So much the selling. <laughs> so much selling. The more they give for free, this Mahaprasad. No? Wow. But some pieces they uh, uh, could uh, uh, sell and... Uh, and from this, they gave the the full for Radha Mohan. That and was, they make special birthdays for Guru Dev that we will yes, bring tomorrow. <laughs> make special uh, without sugar. Wow. They make uh, you see four birthdays. You oh, know birthday no. now. But this is without sugar, only dates, especially for wow. Guru Dev. Wow. So they have so much love <coughs> to Vrindavan, to Rata Mohan, and also to Gurudev. That's so heart touching when uh, I can see this. That I like to share with you. Thank you. So happy with it. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much. I also had this impression that the devotees from the temple who were there, they, they changed actually. They, they get more soft. It's amazing. I was talking with some devotees I know for so many years and I never met them so soft. Wow. So interested in love, you know, in, in Radharani. So it's working. And this is the, the local ISKCON tem temple, right? Hmm? Big temple, yes. Now there are around 50 to 60 devotees continuously because of the refugees from uh, Ukraine. Mm -hmm. But wow. the temple is full of devotees and there is such a nice seva going on. And uh, a nice mood is there. So much sharing and open-hearted to our Sangha. Because many devotees also uh, are in... Uh, from from Gurudev, no? like Gopal Sundara, Dayanidi, Prem Amrit, uh, Suniti, me, and many others, and um, they have. Uh, we we uh, we create their, uh, a loving friendship, and this is a good feeling to be connected also to Radha Madan Mohan, because it's a very. Uh, I think one of the first uh, deities in Germany who came 40 years, 40, 50 years ago, maybe. No? Yeah, that and, question. <clears throat> and also this, uh, uh, the small deities, no? they are even more uh, old. No? Yeah, yeah, I, I heard the story that they are 
the Prabhupada worshipped them also, and so they have a they have a history. So now, Gorabani, which verse is it in the uh, chapter now? Eight verse? I forgot. Uh, we are reading uh, from text number two hundred and sixty-seven. Okay, good. Last time I did a mistake. I, I pronounced that we will read about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when he's jumping in the ocean and Gambira, but this is next time. Not this time. But we will go Gambira deep because Gambira means deep. So we will jump in deep with your help, your association. Gambira, Gambira. So, 267. Eka samsaya mora ajaye ridaye kripa kari kaha more tahara nishchaye. Ramananda Roy then said that he had but one doubt within his heart and he petitioned the Lord, please be merciful upon me and just remove my doubt. So what is his doubt? After this conversation, he actually is not clear who is standing here in front of me. Actually, this is his doubt. <laughs> who is that person? I don't understand. I'm a little bit confused because we will hear. Ramananda Roy then told Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, at first, I saw you appear like a sannyasi, but now I'm seeing you as Shyam Sundara, the cowherd boy. And then I see you appearing like a golden doll, and your entire body appears covered by a golden luster. <coughs> So Srila Prabhupada writes, Shyam Sundara is blackish, but here Ramananda Rai says that he saw Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu <coughs> appear golden. The lustrous body of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was covered by the bodily complexion of Srimati Radharan. <coughs> so... 270. I see that you are holding a flute to your mouth and your lotus eyes are moving very restlessly due to various ecstasies. So what does that mean actually? He's holding a flute to his mouth, but the eyes, the description of the eyes are more like Rata's eyes, completely restless, like wagtail bird. So Ramananda Roy is astonished. How is that? How is possible? I actually see you in this way and this is very wonderful. My Lord, please tell me without duplicity. <laughs> what is causing this? Prabhu kahe Krishna tomara gata prema hoy brema raswa bhav e janiya nishchay Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu <coughs> replied you have deep love for Krishna and one who has such deep ecstatic love for the Lord naturally sees things in such a way. Please take this from me to be certain. Mahabhakavata Dekestavara Jangama Tahan Tahan Hoye Tandra Shri Krishna Spurana. 
a devotee advanced on the spiritual platform sees everything movable and inert as the Supreme Lord. For him, everything he sees here and there is but the manifestation of Lord Krishna. So, Gaurabhani Ji. Gaurabhani Ji. Yes, please. <coughs> so, I'm thinking, I'm feeling. So, Ramanandaya, see, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as, as Shama Sundara. This means Ramanandaya as Saki Baba. Because because he is also Vishakasaki. It is you know sometimes he he is Vishakasaki. So if if Ramandaya has Manjari Baba, so he may see different way. But he may see mainly Krishna. So I I feel you know he's like a kind of Saki Baba or or you know, or Gopi Baba. Could you some comment or some sharing? Mm. Actually, uh, you are one step forward because it will be more clear when we read this because then there come some different points who actually make it very clear. What mercy Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave to Ramananda Roy and why his name is Ramananda Roy. Wow. Wow. So I, I just <laughs> a little bit maybe. You are a step a step forward because <laughs> of your because no. of your clear vision. <laughs> no, not to clear. We are more fallen, we have to go slower to understand. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> I did not I did not know you know anything, you know. <laughs> okay, just to go ahead. <clears throat> So, so the Mahabhagavata, the advanced devotee, certainly sees everything mobile and immobile, but he, dis he does not exactly see their forms. Rather, everywhere he immediately sees manifest the form of the Supreme Lord. We can say <coughs> he does not see exactly the forms, Hmm. What is that? <coughs> if you see things in love, sometimes they are not very clear. <coughs> so we may understand there is some bhava behind, right? Mm. Otherwise, if you're just looking with the intelligence, you see clear. Ah, this is this is a painting, this is a table, this is this, this is that. But if you see with your heart, sometimes things are not very clear here. So that shows that actually Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy has some very much influence on the heart of our Ramananda Roy. But it will go further. At least this is my vision. Please forgive me if you have other perspectives, then please share. Okay. <coughs> so this was interesting because say last sentence, Sarvatra Haya Nija Ishta Deva Spuriti. Yes. So Prabhupada mentioned this Ishta Deva Supreme Lord, Osipa Bruro, but the Supreme Lord. But the Ishta Deva, this means someone who inside my heart so much attach and worshiping Lord. So if if our Ishtadeva, actually Ishtadevi, if we our Ishtadeva is Radharani, then we could see everything uh, in the manifestation of Radharani or manifestation of love. So but the Prabhupada, you know, we are so neophyte. So we want to be fixed 
the Supreme Lord. Therefore, Prabhupada, this translation is uh, everywhere he middle seed manifested the form of Supreme Lord. But actually, this is worshipable Lord. This is, this is worshipable because Ishtadeva. This, this original sentence, original uh, Bengali word, or Bengali word say, Sarvatra Haya Nija Ishtadeva Spirit. Ishtadeva, so because everybody Ishtadeva may different. Because some, some is Ishtadeva is Krishna, some is Ishtadeva is Rama, some is Ishtadeva is Nurisinha, but our Ishtadeva, Ishtadeva is Radha. So if we thinking, then for, for our vision as Manjari, everywhere we immediately see manifest the form of Shrimati Radharani, or Fradini Shakti. That's, I, you know, I feel this we can... But can yes. you, what, what's different <coughs> about the, the verse is the difference between the form and the manifestation of the form. This is a security. Security, yes, the manifestation. Yeah, security is difficult to, difficult to translate because security is like a kind of vision. We can, you know, like it's actually spirit is, I don't know, like difficult to translate, honestly. Like a spirit is like a, one vision coming up the, the mercy of the Lord. Uh, like a. Like it's a like a flash. Thing. Sometimes we say. Yeah. yeah, like a flash, like a short daydream. We remember something. But uh, so difficult to translate this spirit in, in, in Sanskrit. Therefore, Prabhupada is, is, is struggling to translate. Then, it's not like an avatar. No. It's not like in Sadhika Day, it's a manifestation in Sadhika Day. No, 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 no. It's no, also no. no. They kind of, some vision, appear vision, you know, kind of little short time. They, in, in the screen. Yeah, screen. Like, you know, screen. Hmm. This kind of, you know, this is spirit. So therefore, you know, it's not a really kind of, you know, this incarnation is not, is not like this. So therefore, you know, I, like, uh, I'm checking, you know, translation, Prabhupada. Of course, I'm not in position to check, but, uh, if see the Sanskrit or Bengali, and then his translation, and then I could understand what kind of con you know, consciousness and Prabhupada is doing, and how, how much difficulty Prabhupada has for, for, for us, because we are so neophyte, we don't know anything. Then Prabhupada tried to, try to explain which we could understand. That's my, my feeling. But when he says advanced devotees, then he's talking about devotees in, in Siddha, 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 Siddha this, this This one? Yeah. When he says advanced devotees, then when uh, in the translation, Siddha, Siddha, uh, in the Mahabharata, the advanced devotees, Mahabharata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mah he sees everything, but he so doesn't see the form. So actually, this is the point I wanted to make. Okay, um, please, please. There's Taibaf in this person we are talking about. We are talking about whom? About whom we are talking? We are, about, we, we are talking about a Saki who has now a body, a other body and another, and another name, right? Mm -hmm. So Vishaka Saki is now named in another name. Why? His Stai bath is Saki, Saki bath. Mm -hmm. So that's why he first, uh, she first sees, of course, the main deity, Stai. My deity is with the flute, Sham Sundara. So, but 
I'm a little bit confused because I don't see the things very clear. I also <laughs> see the sundry eyes moving and they are different like normally. So I'm a little bit confused. I don't see things clear. And when I feel I'm even more confused. So why is that? Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is giving the highest bath. So now he has Saki bath, Stai bath. So for him now it's a sanctuary bath. That's why it's moving also in him. He's feeling something he don't understand. Huh? Why I see this in you and I see that in you? I'm confused. You should be my Lord Shyam Sundara, but uh, that's why I'm asking. I'm confused. I have a doubt. That's why I'm asking. But that's why he has this name. Actually, what's his name? Rama Na Ananda. Rama Ananda. What means Rama? Raman Reti Ram. When they come together, when they are one, when they are in the highest ecstasy, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, right? So he's bringing this bath and he's emanating it. So things cannot be clear for somebody who is in Saki Bhav because he can never see that. How? He has no entrance in this very confidential exchange because this is the highest bath. It's very confidential. Saki would never see that. So, of course, he has to be confused. And he has written, Prabhupada writes it, and I understand that Prabhupada is very clear. He understands. Due to his deep ecstatic love for Krishna, the Mahabhagavad sees Krishna everywhere and nothing else. Yes, it's very ecstatic love. And of course, he tries to see his deity, Shyam Sundara, but it's not so clear. <laughs> it's confusing because it's shimmering golden. I had a feeling that you are not black. You are looking golden. What is that? And your eyes are like that. So this is actually, I feel this is the confusion because of the feelings. And that's why these verses are actually chosen by Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. He chose that verses to explain that. But in a way, like you said, Chainanda, that neophyte devotees wouldn't be disturbed or uh, understand it maybe in another way, but understand it at least somehow in, in some kind of understanding and not confused. But actually, this is really I think this is the highest art to write things like that. So Prabhupada, I can just say, my God, what Prabhupada did here is unbelievable, actually. What Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is writing here, it's unbelievable. It's so, so on the point, but it's also so transporting all the feelings in the same time but also transporting the knowledge. And whoever wants to understand it in some way, he can understand it in some way. So it's amazing. I, I hope this is, uh, is clear what, what, what I feel here, because it's about feelings, it's not about Kyan. No, well, I get it very clearly, and I think also in the following verses, it's Ramananda Roy who says this personally, right, Gauravan? Yes, I just had to share it now because Jayananda is. We were very so clear. eager. He we was so eager. eager. Oh, yes, yeah. he, could, he couldn't wait for for the nectar. He wanted to oh, have yeah. the nectar now. <laughs> so. We have to give him the nectar now. Yeah, so. sorry. <laughs> we see. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is actually, this is eagerness. This is rati. And this is also very... You know, so, 
And, uh, you know, I want to qu question. So, bec because, so you mentioned Saki could not see intimate, intimate feature. Yes, the most intimate. Yes. Yeah. So then my question is, you know, actually our question is, is Namandaya get some kind of Manjari Baba? Yes, he, but as a Sanjari Baba, not yeah, as Dai Baba. He's getting it now as Sanjari yeah, Baba. Yeah, that is, that is, a, that is the answer. But maybe so, let's see in the, in the future, but this is also interesting. Sorry, this is okay. the same thing like Brabut Ananda, huh? same story, yeah. all, almost. And then Brabut Ananda is staying in Manjri Bath, completely fixed. And we know he's writing Radha Rasudanidi, and I'm bowing down again and again. And interesting, you know, actually, last time I mentioned Radha Rasudanidi had two versions. Sometimes say Lada Rasa Sudanidi, sometimes say Lada Sudanidi. Hmm. And then one version is, is Barba Sampradaya. And, uh, and this, this version is completely described in Sakiba. Hmm. Completely translated in Sakiba. But uh, Anandas Baba, our Gaudiya tradition, we, we see Radha Rasa Sudanidi in completely Manjari Baba. This is very much interesting. And someone who is expert Sanskrit may understand, you know, but uh, we are not so much understanding, but uh, comp same, same Sanskrit, but completely understand different versions. One is Saki Baba, one is Manjari Baba. Yes. It's, you know, really interesting. That's why we need a person who is in that bath and he is explaining it to us, actually. This is yes. why we need it. Otherwise, we would be lost. Yes. We cannot even understand Sarva Dhamman Parijaja, this verse. We cannot understand. I wrote it so many times, Bhagavad Gita, I wrote so many times. I never understood it. Then Gurudev came and he told me that. And I was amazed. Amazed? Me too. I was amazed and I said, yes, this is actually from the eyes of love. It's completely logical. It's the only possible way, actually, because how he who is the most humble person can say you have to surrender to me. Just surrender to me. No, surrender to my love, to my one. Actually, this is the point. Wow. And then you don't need all this explanation, you know, all this yoga pad. You can forget. Sarva Dhamman and Parijaja. Give up. Give up everything. Forget everything. Just surrender to my beloved. And she will show you the way. And today I talked to his Guru, you know, Guru Dev many things. <coughs> and the Guru Dev said, Guru Dev hearing one, one Vaishnamas lecture in Hindi. He said, very nice, but, 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 Sanjay. <laughs> but Sanjay. <laughs> yes. So that means, so, you know, someone who is in, in Stai Baba is there, really <laughs> there, there. So we are very lucky to, to, to have such a, a wonderful Guru Dev and wonderful association. And Guru Dev is very much appreciating this, this Sangha, this international, you know, sharing. He's so much appreciated. You know, and this, this is, uh, we can develop style bubble. Because, yes. we, you know, we, we share each other. This is Guru Dev the want, and Guru Dev is so much appreciating. Even Guru Dev want to hear and cry. He said, oh, no, I want to now hear and cry. This is a good day. Oh, my God. For me, I'm very happy. Also, I'm very sad. If he does not share, I'm very sad. But, he, you know, if he cry 
And you know, he's he's completely observed in meditation. I'm very happy, but you know, this kind of both feelings that kind of mixing. <clears throat> oh my god, Guru Dave's you know situation is you know very sad and also very happy. It's kind of mixing. Yes. I understand, but he will share insight. Sure. Like his guru, like his guru Dave said one time, if you now have question, just sit near to me. Don't ask loud. I will answer your question silently. Just sit near to me. So we will get the answers inside, definitely. And we will get everything from Gurudev because he's always giving everything. But actually, I'm so happy for him that he is going now more in silence and deepness. I'm so happy for him, actually. Because when I saw all these years, how many times he is beginning with A again and again and again and again. And you all know, if you have to, to, to give the basic information, you cannot go deep in the same time. Of course, you're happy because you're mainly in your bath and you're going deep when you are alone. But if you have to share the whole day, you know, where's your opportunity to really go very, very deep? When is your Gambira there, your deepness? That's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was going to Gambira, to go very deep. And I, I'm really happy that Gurudev has this opportunity to go to Gambira now. Yeah. And I know that he will share insight. <clears throat> And yeah. he has so many qualified uh, persons with him, like you all. And you will go on sharing, and he will speak through you, actually. I'm yeah. sure. Sometimes, honestly, we are sharing with Radha Charan Prabhu and Uddhava Ji and, you know, and Chaitanya, uh, Prima. Chaitanya Prima and Andhaka Ji, etc., actually. And then, <clears throat> sometimes... I don't know what I'm, what I'm talking this matter. I never think, you know, oh my God, I'm crazy. You know, completely, you know, usually I talked according to Shastra, but sometimes I completely forget Shastra, you know. I don't know what, what I'm talking, but something coming out, you know. This is happening. Maybe also Gorabani Prabhu and Sniti Didi also. Sometimes we are talking, but we don't dare. Or Uttabaji also. You know, sometimes we, we are talking, but we are talking, but we are not talking. Something automatically is coming out. We don't know why, you know. This is, I think, Gurudev's inspiration. Because especially Uttabaji Gita, I never had before, honestly, you know. I, I love so much and, you know, give me so, so much inspiration. Suniti did it also. Suniti is Premakti Chandrika also, you know, oh my God, she's explained so nicely, which I cannot explain like this. You know, Uttamaji also, I cannot explain like Uttamaji. Honestly. I cannot explain, you know, Prem Bhakti Chandra like Suniti. I cannot explain honestly like Gauravani. You know, these things are happening, you know. This is a good, you know, good day of the mercy. Mm. You know, every good day of empower each devotee, you know, according to desire and according to, what do say, kind of qualification or according to, you know, the, the mercy. <coughs> that is... A, quite amazing. So Gurudev now he wants to a little bit to kind of try to more go deep. And we also we we try to continue and try to 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 share each other and try to develop this one pointness feeling and more feeling become more deep. Today this morning you know Radha Charampabu gave very nice explanation. This this bus and Radha Sasani so you mentioned we we want to become deep and then he said you could you say again so 
like he said like this so if i mistake please correct me actually today, I, we, are, today we are reading with another i i have to i should bring book but uh, this mentioned so a more go deep some kind of english translation and then he said or oh, actually shringa rasa represent a little bit darkness wow you know and then and then if we go see surface is blue but the go inside then become dark and dark and dark one day I asked Gurudev, or oh no, not the other devotee asked Gurudev, why Krishna's color is black? Some devotee asking like this. Then at that time, Gurudev answered like this. Oh, because, you know, if you mix every color, what kind of color is coming? It's, it's blackish color, darkish color. So similarly, all feeling, all rasa, Combine together and go deep, then blackish. So he explained like this Oh my God, Dada Chana, Dada Chana, maybe you can add, you know, you today, this morning, you mentioned that. So, she read the Sudaniti, written how uh, Krishna, then he is. Surun Shimati Radhika by dressing her, decorating her, he's already blue color to some deep blue. Yeah, more, more blue. Yeah. And Chaitanya Prima told, it's, if someone going, uh, if someone diving, first water is good. You can see some light, but you're going more deep, more deep, less light, more dark. Krishna is now diving in the Rasa Ocean of Shemati Radhika. More deep, more deep. And his color become <coughs> deep blue. <laughs> and I, I just remembered what uh, Shunaranga Sam Maharaj told to us, what Shyam Kaur is a symbol of Shingar Rasa. Krishna likes to meet Shemati Radhika, but in hidden way, what our students see, what is like he is meeting her nighttime in the dark. Nighttime. Yeah. What is why Shingarasa is dark? And today I share a little bit with Gopika, Gopika Didi. And then Gopika said, said to me, hey, Jayananda, do you recognize sometimes Gurudev become Samadhi, go in deep? Gurudev's bodily color become more deep. You know, Gopika, Gopika Didi, she, she was recognized, you know, Gurudev's meditation go deep. And his body color is more big. Oh my God! Maybe I I did not recognize. Maybe next time I'll check. You know, <laughs> like this. This is very nice. What I saw when uh, I met him, he's still in separation. When he, when he was here, he just asked us, but now he's still. Oh, you all so beautiful, so nice. I miss you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you know, he was there very chasing me, you know, chasing me, chasing us, you know, like anything, you know, oh my God, you know. And then he said, like, why don't you call me, you know, like this, you know, something. And then he's like sometimes crying, you know, oh my God. And sometimes his situation, sometimes, you know, kind of different feeling. <clears throat> Sorry, this is beautiful. That's why, actually, if we see the last years, he was pushing us to grow because he wanted to go deep. He was pushing up us to take responsibility. And we may have thought that we cannot. I also thought like that. I, I, I was not prepared. But he was pushing again and again and again. And then I remembered once he was pushing me to drink coffee. And I said, you know, whenever I drink coffee, I get a sour stomach. I cannot. 
I said this 10 times, maybe 15 times, I don't know, maybe 20 times. But again and again, he offered me the rest of his coffee. <laughs> he was completely ignoring what I said. And then I, at one moment, I thought, you are so dull. He wants to give you mercy. Why you don't take it? Then your stomach problems will be over. <clears throat> Just take it. It's healing. I took it. I drunk, I drank it and no pain. No problems. Since that time, I can drink coffee. So in the same way, <laughs> he is offering something. And when he's offering something, then all the Shakti is inside that we may do it. We may don't feel that we actually we can do it. But actually, this is what he's giving us. He's giving us the Shakti. He's not just a loving father. It's not just giving you some uh, some goal you have to reach, but he's also giving you all the powers he has to reach it. And he has all because he's connected with Rani, so he has all the powers. So when he says, do that, you can do it for sure. So Gurudev said, you know, in Brindavan, Whatever you pray, that desire will be fulfilled. And he said, if Swarupa coming, auto automatically everything going on. You don't need to do anything. Automatically, Radha Rani will do. You are not doing. You are not doing. We are not doing. <laughs> Once Swarupa coming, automatically everything smoothly, you know. So we don't need to worry. It could be able to say, don't bother, don't worry. Because one day Swarupa comes and automatically everything, you know, is kind of carrying because Radha is doing. Radha the Frani Shakti is doing. We are not do we are not doing. But we have to do like we do. We have to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it's no fun, you know. Radharani wants us to play the game, you know. We have to do like we would do it. Also, she is everything yeah, doing. Yeah, that's true. Because, you know, so we, are, we have also feeling. Sometimes we are, sometimes, you know, we are scared, you know. We are sometimes like uh, anxiety, you know. But uh, that is like a just process. Yes. So today also I told Guru, Guru Dev, you know, yesterday I told the class, uh, you know, assign the acceptance, you know, that, you know, we acceptance reality, we accept Swarupa, we accept, you know, Ishtadeva, then, then, you know, our Abhima is more, more clear, you know, and then, and this acceptance is go become deeper and then Abhima is com com you know, completely fixed. Then that is, that is Swarupa, <laughs> Swarupa Sisi. So when I said Gurudev is going to Gambira, doesn't mean somebody was asking here, doesn't mean that uh, he's going with his body to Mayapur. Gambira means deep, deep, like uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went very deep in Gambira. So Gurudev is going deep in meditation. This was also, the meaning. You know, some devotee told me, you know, Gurudev's body is now in Delhi, but Gurudev Swarbha is always in Vrindavan. Mm -hmm. You know, if we are thinking always body, you know, all oh, Gurudev's in Delhi, Gurudev's this place, that place, no. Gurudev Swarupa is never deep in Dhamma. That's also true. <laughs> but just like our vision, our our thinking. External. Yeah, external. You know, we try to see externally. But if we see internally, then you know everything fine. One day I told Gurudev, I'm no qualification. No qualification, what to do? No. Your soul is qualified. Soul has qualification. 
Your Swarupa has qualification. But if we see our body, <laughs> many disqualifications. But if we, we yeah, you know, we, if we go to the soul and Swarupa, then no, you know, no disqualification. Oh my God, this is true. Sorry, I, I talk too much. If we are the shadow of Radharani, then we will do like her. That means we are completely Bhavolas Rati, completely one in feeling. So that means what we do. Actually, she is doing to us. But she wants us to do also, because why children play like mama? Why children play, oh, now I'm cooking. What is the point? To make some realizations through play. They're just playing, nothing can happen. Like we in the material world, nothing can happen. Your body dies, no problem. You exist always, no problem. Nothing can happen. You're playing. You make experience. And what you learn? You learn to love like Radha. By playing. Playing different kind of games. That's all. So we don't have to be so... I mean... Of course, it's, it's a sincere thing. Yes, we are sincere. But actually, the life can be also light, huh? you know, playful, happy, like in the spiritual sky. They always, they make some games, they have some fun. They do wrong. Krishna is doing so many times wrong. He cannot even paint the feet of Radha. And, you know, some they... Put him on the side, you know, you, you cannot do, you are not able. So what? It's a game. We don't have to go in this, in this meditation. Oh, we are so fallen, we cannot do. No, we have to go in the other meditation. Yes, as a soul, I can do. That's actually the, the good, the positive thing. That's why Gurudev always saying, go in the positive. What means go in your sita deha. Don't think so bodily. Think in your Sita Deha. Actually, this is the point. You are a soul, you can do it. With Radharani's and Gurudev's mercy, you will do it. And if not by the first time, so what? You learned. You learned to do it better next time. So what's the loss? Nothing. You win. You're just winning all the time. And this is actually what we have to install here in this. It has to be a program. You know, we are just playing, have fun and learn. And we come near, more near and more near to Radha. And we will learn her love more and more and more. This is such a wonderful, uh, sweet uh, meditation. Like Anandadas Babaji says, it's such a sweet thought to think I am the maidservant of my Swamini. It's such a sweet thought to be in the seva of the greatest love in person. It's such a sweet thought. I'm a part of this love. It's so sweet, isn't it? So let us think like this, let us feel like this. We are part of this wonderful, endless, sweet, ever fresh, amazing, astonishing love of Radha. And this is our real nature, real. This is not real here. This body is not real, it will go soon, very soon. And we can be happy that, he, that it, this will go. Actually, love is the goal, love is the way, and 
we are on the way and we can jump. We can jump because we have a guru who is showing us, yes, if you stay on that road, actually, on this path, it gets, you know, more, how you say, first it's broad, then it gets more uh, narrow. Narrow, narrow. yes. Huh? Yes. <laughs> so, but stay on it. Just follow it. And then you will reach the goal. So be happy, you are already on the way. Jai Shri Jai. Jai Jai And we can see that even Ramananda Roy, he gets such a mercy. He's in Saki Bhav. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is giving him Manjari Bhav. And he's confused by feelings. My God, such an ecstasy I never felt before. How is it? You're looking different. How is it? What's going on here? You got the mercy. This is going on here. And that's why his name is Rama Ananda Roy. What does it mean? Rama means they come together and they have this ecstatic exchange, Radharani and Shyamsundara. And Ananda is there where Mahabhav and our uh, Rasa Vaisaha, they are meeting. So when Radharani and Mohan come together, then there is Ananda. So this Ananda from Rama, Rama Ananda means it's the highest. It's exactly this what we are talking about in the beginning. Exactly that. This is Rama. When they forget who they are, Radharani thinks I'm Krishna and Krishna thinks I'm Radha. Yes, this is when they forget each other because of their love for each other, they are giving everything, even themselves. This is actually what it means. Radharani accepts Krishna's present. He wants to give him. Yes. Okay, then I am now Shyam. This is very logical. If I give myself to you, then you are me. And vice versa. And this is the highest form of this love. And Roy means king. So he is in that Ramananda and he is Roy, he is the king. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is making him to this king. He is Rama Ananda Roy. That's a fitting name for that now. And that's a gift. And this gift actually Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wants to give us all, not just Ramananda Roy. Every one of us. And he's giving us if if we want or not. He will offer it again and again and again and again and again and again. That's love. This is the pure love. And this is the mood of Radha. She's giving everything. Whatever she can give, she's giving everything. She's not holding back, back one inch. Not one feeling. Nothing. She's giving herself. When we get a manchuri a deha, then we are like her. Looking like her. Very similar. Feeling like her. Exactly like her. She is not hiding anything. This is actually what Ananda Das Babaji is telling us so many times. She is not hiding anything. She cannot hide anything. She is giving us everything, complete. She is actually sold out. But because she can never be sold out, because she's Mahabhav in person, she is giving us and giving us and giving us and it's floating. And we will swim in the ocean 
of Mahabhav, of Rasa, and we will dive. This is what water is doing. When sweet water is coming to an ocean, it actually is mixing and then it goes also down under. It will be mixed. First it's on the surface, but then it goes more deep. It will mix. So this is what will happen with us if we just stay on this water, which will automatically flow to the ocean. And then Ramananda Roy is saying, My dear Lord, by your causeless mercy, you have appeared before me to grant me liberation. Now you are playing in a duplicitous way. What is the reason for this behavior? <laughs> we all know. Lord Sri Krishna is the reservoir of all pleasure. And Srimati Radharani is the personification of, of ecstatic love of Godhead. These two forms combined as one in Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This being the case, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu revealed his real form to Ramananda Roy. Then, Upon seeing this form, Ramananda Roy almost lost consciousness in transcendental bliss. Unable to remain standing, he fell to the ground. And when Ramananda Roy fell to the ground unconscious, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu touched his hand and he immediately regained consciousness. However, when he saw Lord Chaitanya in the dress of a sannyasi, he was struck with wonder. And after embracing Ramananda Roy, the Lord pacified him, informing him. But for you, no one has ever seen this form. He's telling, but for you, no one has ever seen this form. It's very personal. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu confirmed all the truths about my pastimes and mellows are within your knowledge. So now we can understand that he got the full mercy. All the truths about the truths, not one, all the different truths about my pastimes and mellows about pastimes and mellows are within your knowledge now. So he got everything. Therefore, I have shown you this form too. I have shown you this form because you got the knowledge and now you can see the form. Actually, my body does not have a white complexion. It only appears so because it had touched the body of Srimati Ratarani. However, she does not touch anyone but the son of Nanda Maharaj. I have now converted my body and mind into the ecstasy of Srimati Ratarani. Thus, I am tasting my own personal sweetness in that form. And this is very interesting. He is telling to Ramananda Roy from that point of view that where his thigh bath actually is. So that he may understand. He's turning 
he's turned his he's he's turned his body and mind into pure love. That's yes. the Vradharani. And so doing then reunites the two sides of Chaita, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Thus I am tasting my own personal sweetness. So now Mohan is tasting Radha, Radha is tasting Mohan in this form of pure love. No? Yes. It's so wonderful, isn't it? All the scene is so wonderful. And we see it's very personal. Mahaprabhu is not just, just giving mercies like, you know, take it or leave it. You have to wonder why, why Ramananda Rai, Ramananda Rai inspires Krishna like this. It's in the presence of Ramananda Rai that he comes to this point of ecstasy. It's, it would almost seem it contradicts Jayananda, so I'm not sure. It would almost seem that he's in Manjari Bhav, Ramananda Roy, and, and he's helped to bring uh, Radha Mohan to this position of complete ecstasy. But it's by Ramananda Rai being there in the presence during this, this conversation, this exchange that that the Radha Mohan takes this most advanced form, most extreme high form. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's like you, you get a gift and you don't understand this gift, you know. You have a, a big gift in front of you and you don't understand uh, what it's for. Then somebody comes and explains to you. It's like that. First he got the bath and he's confused. And now he wants to know what it is. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is explaining from his point of view, from his usual point, from his Daiba. Mm -hmm. So he's explaining like that. This is wonderful because this shows how personal actually this is, isn't it? It's so personal. And he is personal to all of us through the mercy. When a guru is coming, he is the perfect match for us. He will tell us from our understanding. Because he cannot talk from his understanding, we will understand nothing. He's coming down and talking from our view. Then we understand. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, but first you get the present, you know, big present. You know, they're like, oh, astonishing. What's that? It's amazing. It's big. I can feel, but I don't know how big it is really. I don't know how sweet it is. I, I cannot really get it. But by the time I can digest. And this is when Gurudev is giving us the mercy. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is actually giving us full mercy and then it will be explained. And then we may get used to it more and then we can accept more. I don't know if you all have this experience, but sometimes it's like this. If you fall in love, so many impressions like it's described, when Krishna sees Radharani, he has endless desires. He cannot understand how much. He can, he's completely confused because all these desires are mixing and it's like a, a whirlpool or like in the ocean, the waves are slapping over each other and, you know, it's completely mess, feeling mess. You just understand, yes, 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 yes. I want, I need, but you don't really can see clear because it's just the overload of feelings. So in this way, this is actually the present we get. And this present also Ramananda Roy got. 
And now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is cooling him down and giving him, you know, one piece by another. Gauravani uh, Jay, if I understand uh, clear, I don't know, but what I heard from Shinranga Samaraj about this situation with Ramananda Rai and Mahaprabhu, he gave an analogy. One piece come inside in nighttime, come inside of super technology company technological company and stole the last prototype of like for example Intel 12. I don't know what's in English, yes. And he's stolen, but he doesn't know how to use it. In the same way, Krishna stolen the mode of Srimati Radhika, but he doesn't know how to use it. What is why he needs someone who is close to Srimati Radhika, like Vishaka, because she was born in the same day. So oh, oh, um, how it's called? Mad, Vamya Bha, Mad. She has same na same nature, same mood, and she always calls and she knows her mood. And now Raman Darai explaining to Mahaprabhu how he can understand his own feeling, means Shmati Radhika's feeling. And uh, other uh, explanation: Then Mahaprabhu staying in Gambira. Every day, morning time, he going to Toto Gopinath. Why? Because Galadhar is there. And he's taking lessons of Shemat Radical Smooth from Galadhar. And he's speak, uh, speaking words from Shemat Bhagavatam, uh, emotions and words Shemat Radical. If he is making mistake, Galadhar is correcting him and make his mood proper, exactly what this Shemat Radical is feeling. Mm -hmm. And then he is returning to Gambira and practicing all night. So Ramananda Rai is helping. Because he is Shemati Radhika. Yeah. But he is not coming to Gambira. Why? Because he is real Radhika. Then uh, Krishna could not do this in, fro in front of Shemati Radhika, from whom he is receiving this, all these lessons. Yes. <laughs> that is that's wonderful. And this is the other side, yes. It's as though there needs to be a witness to the, to the love. To, to the love of Radha Mohan. The love of Mohan and Radha Rani. For it to be real, for it to be realized, it has to be for someone. This ecstasy comes about through the dialogue with the Ramananda Roy. I didn't get this last sentence actually. I, there was some break in my connection. Can you please again say this? What? That this, this point in the verse, see. I have now converted my body and mind into the ecstasy of Srimati Radharani. <coughs> Thus I am tasting my own personal sweetness in that form. This is, a, this is the perfection of, of Radha Mohan. This is the perfection of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to taste his own personal sweetness. And this happens in the presence of this interview with Ramananda Roy. As though this experience has to be witnessed by, by the devotee, or the, by the by a by a by a third person in order to take its perfect form. It's only through this it's through this interview with Ramananda Roy that it took place. This experience of the ecstasy of Shri Radhanam. I'm wondering. I, sorry, I need to put it in the form of a question. Actually, yes, this, this is a wonderful point also because they don't want to enjoy alone. They want to to uh, to have us also with them. For us, yes. Yes, yes that's the point. And we, we should do some seva there. We should be a part of this. We should make it more sweet. This is actually the seva of the mandri, to make the whole thing more sweet. This is the game. How else you can explain the, the presence of the Manjali and the Manjali Bhav and, and our role in this? Yes, in our case, it's 
our Sita Deha, we serve there. And in this case here, Ramananda Roy. So there are actually many more because he and Mandra are also there. Sometimes. Can you repeat what all mumbled the last time? The internet breakup a bit. Yeah, he told me before the Zoom started that his internet connection is slow because he's going by a um, hotspot with his phone. So that is happening right now. <clears throat> it's so slow that he's dissolved into the ethers now. Yeah, now he has become in ecstasy. <laughs> No, he will come back. So may I ask, so Gurdiv is going to Mayapur or was the start? I, I did miss, miss something. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, my dear. It was an example that uh, Gauravani was giving when he was saying that Gurdiv is going to Gambira. That means the mood of depth and no. Arjan. <laughs> and one should not misunderstand that he is going to Mayapur. Okay? Divya Prem, you got it? Yes, so I'll okay. cancel my flight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, cancel your flight to Mayapur, get a, play, a flight to Delhi. <laughs> to Gambira. Gambira. <laughs> yeah, much <laughs> better. Gurudev's Gambira is in Radha Mohan Kunj. Yes, I also like your point, uh, Udava, just to, to, to prattle something before Goravani comes back, that uh, Chaitanya was, you know, communicating with Ramananda Roy in this way, or he was using Ramananda Roy in this way to show many things. First of all, how exalted he is. Everybody thought he was like, you know, not like a governor's uh, employee or like a governor himself. Everybody was not taking him very seriously because he was not a monk or something. He was not renounced. But he empowered him. He let him speak all these uh, confidential truths. That's what I feel. And he says this also in verse 289. Um, there's no confidential activity which of, of, of myself that is unknown, is foreign to you. Even if I try to, to hide my myself or my doing because of your uh, the power of your advanced uh, love, then you can understand it. So that's a hint for all of us also that uh, when the devotee becomes very pure, then uh, Radha Mohan will never hide anything from them. And the manjari is the purest uh, position what any living entity can attain in, with the mercy of Radharani and Guru Manjari. So then at that point, uh, no secrets are... Uh, you know, there's no more secrets between Radharani and Hermandri, so there's also no more secrets between the divine couple and their Dasi when they are together. And that's also what I feel that Ramananda Roy was used to show this. And although it was like Gauravani said, it was a sanctuary, a floating feeling that he realized or she that it's also Radharani there, but he they they uh, chose to reveal themselves to Ramananda Roy. And that is also interesting that it happened, although she is Vishaka. But like they can do and reveal themselves to anyone that they like. 
Well, but then how is it revealed to us? It's a, you know, in literature, in literary works, you have this tool, which in Greek is called apostrophe. And to find out the thoughts, the secret thoughts of a character in the story, you let them talk to another person. And by talking to the, to the other person and the inside experience of the mind can be heard by the audience. So there's kind of a function of a witness. We need to have a witness to the divine loving relation. And we have it, you know, as well in, in, um, in, uh, with, uh, Raghunuga Daskaswami and the Rapakasmanjari who's, who's going to witness the divine relation and then come back and tell it to us. For uh, Prabhupada Saraswati, same way. She goes as Manjali to witness through her emotional proximity, emotional fusion with the loving couple and then come back in the, in the book, Radharas Sudhipiti, and tell us about it. This is the only way we, we uh, sadikas can have knowledge of this without having knowledge of it. Sort of a beautiful human function that these, these figures, these heroes of ours have. Ravindu Vidas Goswami and Prabhupada Saraswati and now Ramanananda Roy. It's really quite a beautiful human function they play for us witnessing, telling about divine love. We don't quite know. Yeah, that's wonderful. And I want to cook it out in my consciousness because Gurudev is witnessing, witnessing it, you know, then he's also sharing with us. And because uh, of, you know, whatever small feelings we have, we are also witness for each other and we are helping each other to get the spark of, of, feelings ignited or keep it going or make it rise higher i like this this is a very beautiful point you can cook it down to the smallest uh, person who has some feelings that maybe others don't have and i i can uh, feel it in all the zooms also because what you share is your feelings is your witness of your own sadhana your own mercy that you get and you share it, and then I also can feel it. And so, Lord Chaitanya, I feel like you said, okay, this principle of the Greek is very interesting. I have not heard about it, but it makes sense. That's why some people, they call themselves the Jehovah Witnesses, right? They also have this principle, maybe, of you have to witness something, and then you can give it, you can pass it on. It's the, it's the, the firm faith of the heart that can transfer and that has come to from the highest source. It's really, um, it's really um, a very high and beautiful form of loving, witnessing that I share. I've had an experience of the divine and I share it with the ones I trust and, and love the most. As sadhikas, this is maybe the best thing we can do. I think so too. Maybe that's why Gurudev also says this, keep this going. Because others will feel the mood, others will feel the love. And if I have forgotten my own like love in the heart, which happens because of coverings, I just come together and I feel your love and I get revived, I get inspired, I get, uh, you know, uplifted. Even if I don't understand many everything that it doesn't matter like our projectory she always says i don't really understand nothing but i feel so much <laughs> and i cry i don't know why because i understand nothing <laughs> but i feel everything so that is a miracle of of transformation of this love <laughs> In her Siddha there, she understands everything. That's exactly Yes, in her soul. That's what uh, Goravani also said today, this point. Uh, in our soul, we, we have it. We want it. We feel it. We are eager for it. And the soul is, is, is so hungry for this. 
That's what the tears are saying. Yes. <laughs> More. Did you see there was a mess? There was a text from uh, Guravani saying that he's fallen down. Acha, he said. In the uh, in Vibra, in the Radhadasam, there was a message. Acha, okay, yes. Maybe it's time to stop. Okay. Yes, he tried to call me, I think. But it's, yeah, time is uh, over now anyway, and it was a very, uh, you know, inspiring exchange for me. Thank you all. Thank you, Gauravani. Thank you all. Radha Charan, Jainanda Maharaj, Udhava Sundaram, all who are here. Speaking or not speaking, your love is carried. It's inside the room. <laughs> well said. Well said.